during this three hour conversation with with Asmodeus's ex-girlfriend girlfriend I really don't know what to call her I really don't I'm not trying to be disrespectful I don't know what to call her and I don't want to call her by her name and, um during this conversation that we had she let me know that their son was conceived sometime between October or November. The first time that me and Asmodeus were intimate was October 31st, and we became official October 31st. Again, she did not disclose this information with him at the time when she found out she was pregnant because she did believe that there was a high possibility that she was going to miscarry. So he didn't know that she was pregnant until March, but he knew he was in a relationship with her in September on our first date. He knew he lived with her in September on our first date. He knew when he went before a judge in November and signed legal binding documents and got temporary custody of my children. He knew that they were together and they cohabitated together. He knew, he knew, obviously knew, he knew all the time. And the fire took place in January because I'm telling her everything. Like I'm telling her all the details. We're going down the list of dates and times and you know, incidents. And when the fire took place and the insurance paid for the family to stay in a hotel, he told her that he was going to actually be staying at his mom's house. No, he was either with me at my house. There were times that he told me that he was actually just going to their house, his house, and waiting for the contractors in the morning. Now, since he wasn't with me and there were days that he was not at work overnight, he was probably at a whole nother bitch's house. Because there were some incidents during our conversation where I'm going through phone call logs and text messages and she's asking me about particular dates and he wasn't with her and he wasn't with me, then nigga was with somebody else. I definitely feel victimized because he knew what he was doing when he did it. He had a plan and he strategically picked and he knew how he was going to carry this out. He knew that there was no way on God's green earth he would ever have the access to the resources that I had just being one of my friends that I met on a dating site. He knew he had to be in a relationship with me to harness everything that I have. So we were 100% in a relationship, no questions asked whatsoever. None, none whatsoever. We weren't getting to know each other. We weren't, let's see where this goes. We weren't kicking it, nothing like that. We were in a relationship. At least I was in a relationship. Not to mention, we actually had the actual conversation when we initiated and began our relationship. One thing I know for sure and two things are for certain. If that man does not say that he is in a relationship with you, don't judge it by his actions. Don't judge it by the things that he says or the things that he does. Don't judge it by anything else. If that man ever makes you have to sit here and turn to him and ask him, what are we? That's not your man. You're not in a relationship. I never had to turn to Asmodeus and ask him that whatsoever. This was not some illusion in my mind. This was nothing like that we were in an actual relationship. So I had already debunked the day, month, year we met. It was not in 2024, it was in 2023, it was in September. I already debunked the severity of how we were dealing with one another based on the fact that number one, we had this conversation. We had this conversation. We were in a committed relationship. We, that was my boyfriend, I was his girlfriend. We were in a relationship. He was picking up my kids to, you know, from our babysitter and dropping them off. He was taking my youngest son to his supervised visits with his father. He was going with me on school tours. He was in here damn near sometimes 24 seven. He did have a key to my front door. We were in a relationship. We were saying, I love you. We had future plans. The phone call that I recorded, um, I believe it's parts 11 and 12 with the phone call that I recorded between myself and Asmodeus if you pay attention if you look at the captions when I reiterate to him what he told me pertaining to his ex-girlfriend never once will you ever hear him sit here and say or make mention of you knew we were together in a relationship you knew we lived together nothing like that because that's not what he told me at all and I have every single solitary receipt that I could access and put it in all of that footage. That's in parts one through 58. 
every single receipt has been included. The only thing that might be like a bit of a gray area is they stopped being intimate after the baby was conceived. She told me that she no longer felt safe with him even accessing her body because she was afraid he was going to bring home an STD because of how much he was unfaithful. And she did let me know that she would sleep in her room in her bed and that he slept on the couch. So they were estranged in that type of way. But still, at the end of the day, still, he was lying to that woman about where he was going and what he was doing. As far as she knew, they were in a relationship together. They were on the rocks, they were working through some things, but they were in a relationship together. She was so kind, she was so sweet, and she was so forthcoming with everything. And she even went on to say, you know, Asmodeus finding someone and getting into a relationship with someone, it wasn't a big deal to me because I'm tired. I'm burnt out. You have pretty much ran me emotionally ragged from pillow to post from California to New Jersey. And when I first got on the phone call with her, she sounded so tired. She sounded so, 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 so tired. And I was wondering, is she just tired because she just had a baby? Is she just getting out of bed? Or is this woman really burnt out to her core? She sounded a lot older than me. She sounded much, much older than me. And she is actually older than me. She's 45, but she sounded drained, like someone had sucked the life out of her. Yeah, so their relationship was in a rocky place, but it doesn't justify everything that he did and everything that he lied about. And I let her know that when he moved in with me temporarily in November, he brought over a large box of belongings and clothes. And there were two shirts inside of that box that belonged to his daughter. They were brand new with the tags on them, but he said, hey, can you fit these? Because my daughter can't fit them. And I was like, no, I cannot fit children's clothing. I appreciate the gesture, but no, I can't fit that. So I mentioned those to her. I let her know about the photos that he had been sending me of their daughter. In conversation with Asmodeus, the girlfriend and Asmodeus, he went on to tell her that there was a possibility that my baby was his and that it probably isn't his because I was messing around with one of my exes. That's when you really don't put into a relationship, you don't understand the pointlessness and the insignificance of certain activities. So naturally, he would say some bullshit like that. Not to mention, he's a liar. He needs to say something. 